6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters, with veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. We've created certain missions where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. The team is also bringing back the evidence board. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Traditional Prestige is back. We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty Prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter Prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black Ops 6 will have 10 Prestiges. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through and a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Round Base Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch, with a curated mix of fan-favorite features and new elements to discover. As you've heard today, the innovations in movement systems will also be coming to Zombies. Plus, there are many additional Zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for Round Base Zombies.